Uh, my name is Seth Blakely. Um, I've, uh, I'm a 3D artist or a 3D illustrator here at Chameleon Power, and I've been here for uh, uh, about seven months. Uh, so, uh, as a 3D artist, I work here. Um, uh, I work in VR, obviously, so uh, it's kind of a new field. It's very exciting. Uh, we're still uh, 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 working on it, trying to figure out how it goes and where the technology is going to go from here, and it's incredibly exciting. We're solving new problems, problems that nobody's ever really had to deal with before, and that's, that's a lot of fun. So, um, <clears throat> As for uh, what we do uh, currently, uh, the, we just wrapped up one project, and we're working on another one right now for uh, a virtual reality tool to visualize uh, different floors. In, uh, in different settings. So we did uh, about six different environments. We did uh, a supermarket, a department store like a JCPenney or a Macy's, um, um, uh, a casual dining setting, a fine dining setting, and a couple others. And uh, we built in, uh, using geometry, we built in different floor patterns so that way you could apply different floor products that we cre uh, recreated from uh, visual reference into a, a 3D digital format. You can actually replace these on uh, the floor and in real time and check it out while you're walking around in this uh, virtual reality environment. So it's, it's really cool. For why they're going to keep coming back here to Community Power in regards to 3D is because nobody else is doing this stuff. Like this is like we're really uh, cutting edge and just getting started with it so it's uh, it's it's still in the works we're still building the, the foundation and the groundwork but I mean in five years from now everything is going to be 3d like it's just it, that's the way of the world is how it's going to go and we're right there at the forefront of it so uh, the benefits is it's an experience unlike any that you have ever had before um, you can I mean we're kind of doing it new for a product visualization, but the ability of being able to uh, eventually take a picture of your house or even um, you know just do like a quick scan using your phone or whatever apps we have by that point, and then uh, actually downloading it to your computer, putting on a headset, and then just browsing the web, and then finding a couch, and sticking it in the corner, and then uh, finding, I don't know, a cat, and putting a cat, and then having it walk around in your house or whatever while you're doing all these things is going to be amazing, like both in augmented reality or in virtual reality. So, like virtual reality, obviously, like, the two platforms are very similar, but virtual reality is very immersive. Like, you are in another reality there. With aug augmented reality, uh, it's just kind of augmenting reality. So, yeah. Well, it's, it's innovative just because it's. For me, augmented reality is kind of like a daydream. So, you know, when you're sitting there at your desk or whatever, and you're bored out of your mind, and you're daydreaming, and you're. you're I don't know. For me, I'm a nerd. I like, you know, dragons and stuff like that. So I picture like, you know, flying a dragon or something like that. Well, with the idea of augmented reality, is you will eventually be able to have your own little dragon. Like if you have uh, like uh, some glasses or whatever that are augmented reality glasses, you have your own little dragon that you programmed and actually, you know, animated and whatever else, just walking around on your desk. So instead of um, you know, like just, just taking a break and, and letting your mind wander or something, you always have that right there. It's just really cool to look at and everything. So, I don't know, augmented reality is really cool stuff. I, uh, I'm a, I specialize in texture, uh, like uh, texture and lighting and everything. So I use Substance Designer. And with Substance Designer, what I do is I actually recreate uh, customers' products. So like I mentioned the flooring uh, uh, VR demo before, uh, I recreated all of the flooring materials that you see in that with the Substance Designer. And it's, it's procedurally generated, it's completely non-destructive, so once I build the base for it, I can alter it and change it and update it and adjust it on the fly with, with no... Um, uh, with very little time in between. One of the things that we're working towards and that we're going to be seeing very soon is uh, the ability to actually, instead of just showing clients a product online, you know, on a website or whatever, and then just them kind of looking at that and then looking at their floor or looking at their wall or whatever it is that they're looking at buying, just going from that to that and then being like, well, I guess I could kind of see it. We would actually want to be able to um, create that product or whatever layout that it is that they want and then actually apply it to their floor or to their room or whatever it is. Like, that's the ultimate goal. That's where it's going to be is, you know, you put on your glasses that you saw the little dragon running around. You also put on your glasses, you pick some floors and you kind of look at them and you just start applying it to the floor and you're like, oh, I really like that or eh, maybe I want some, some, some of these tiles in it or whatever. So. 
It's pretty much being able to do, have contractors come into your home and do whatever work that you want done and let you be able to see it before you actually make that purchase.